So this is where we left off. We have the ball and the player puddle. And we have two joints, one joint for the uh, puddle and one joint or groove joint for the ball. And of course when I shoot the ball with the space key, the second groove joint gets removed from the space here in the balls class shoot method. So first the own puddle gets uh, set to false and uh, from the space the joint gets removed. And now in this video I'm going to create the walls class. So class walls and the walls won't inherit from the body like the ball or the player. So I'm going to create the init method in it self and it will take the space as an argument and I'm going to create a, a line segment for the left wall so pymang pymang that segment okay pymang segment and it will be a space that static body and this line segment first uh, vertex will be at 50 and 110 so x and y the second vertex will be at 50 and 800 on y and its radius or thickness will be 2 so let me take a look i'm going to add this to us to the space so space that add the left and i'm also going to create here in the game window self that was object and walls and it need needs the self that space so let me take a look okay now we have this line segment which will represent a wall the left wall and as you can see here this line segment uh, starts at 50 on x and 110 on y so this is the its first point and this, its second point is at 50 and and, and 800 so 50 from the bottom left of the window and 800 to this point. Now let's create the top, the right and also the bottom segment. So top pymang dot segment space the static body and its first vertex will be at 50 and 800 its second vertex will be at 1230 and 800 and its radius or thickness will be 2 so top left top and right Pymang that segment also a space the static body the first vertex will be at 12 
30 and 800 the second vertex at 12 30 and 110 and its thickness 2 okay now let's add these to, to so left top and right and let me take a look okay so now this is the left segment this is the top segment and this is the right segment and uh, lastly create a bottom segment but first of all i'm going to set the left dot elasticity equal to 0 0.98 and also for the top top dot elasticity 0 0.98 and the right dot elasticity to 0 0.98 Okay, now let's create the bottom line. So bottom equals mm, pymunk that segment. It will also be a static body. And its first vertex will be at 50 and 50. Oops. Its second vertex will be at 12, 30 and 50 and its thickness will be also 2 and this bottom will be a sensor so bottom that sensor not space but sensor set it to true and let's set for the bottom the collision type so collision type equals collision types bottom and also add it to the space so bottom so let's test it now we have this bottom line which is a sensor so when the ball touches this bottom line it won't generate a collision response it just will sensor that the ball is touching this line and later I'm going to use this sensor when the ball touches this sensor the game will be reset Oh. I mean, I don't want it to turn it off, so let's test it. Okay, now we have a bouncing ball. Let's take a look. When it touches the bottom line, it goes through. So I think in the next video I'm going to create the, the game reset functionalities. So as I said, when it touches the bottom line or when the R key will, uh, is pressed, the game will reset itself. So until then, uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day.